We're continuing to follow breaking new developments tonight on a new report that follows a deadly crane accident on I-10. Less than six months after a piece of equipment fell onto the truck of two brothers, the Department of Labor has found the company that operated the crane failed to assemble it properly. This report coming sooner than initially expected. 12 News investigator Letitia Cahey breaks down those details. Yes, Dej, in the Department of Labor investigation report, OSHA cited the company for three willful and two serious violations for that tragic accident in April. Now, many people are asking, how did this even happen? Well, the OSHA report says the contractor Hemphill WBE Pile Driving Company was installing supports for an elevated section of the highway at the time of the crash. OSHA found the operator failed to determine the correct weight of the load while using the crane, causing the boom to buckle and land on a truck. Now, the truck belonging to two brothers from Friendswood, Sarfaraz Karawadia and Altaf Kazawadia, were on their way home from the convenience store Cherry, located on Gladys and North Major Drive in Beaumont. Well, the Department of Labor has fined Hemp Hill WBE Pile Driving Company $212 thousand five hundred and ninety nine dollars in proposed penalties, but the families could still seek more in civil suits. Two people injured in a separate crane accident back in Jefferson County in 2016 sued for damages and won four point eight million dollars. For now, Letitia Cahey, 12 News. Well, 12 News has been breaking details on this story since it happened, and you can expect us to stay on top of any new developments on air, online and on our 12 News Now app.